investigator man charged with burning woman changed story. A man charged with fatally burning a 19-year-old Mississippi woman acknowledged that he was with her on the evening she was set on fire after repeatedly denying it during interrogations, an investigator said Friday. Mississippi Bureau of Investigation agent Tim Douglas testified in the trial of Quinton Tellis, who has pleaded not guilty to capital murder and the death of Jessica Chambers. Prosecutors theorize that Tellis thought he suffocated Chambers during sex in her car in a driveway on the evening of December 6, 2014. Tellis then drove Chambers' car to a rural back road, ran to his sister's house nearby, borrowed her car, stopped at his house to pick up a can of gasoline, and used the flammable fluid to set Chambers on fire, prosecutors said. Firefighters found a smoldering Chambers walking near her burning car shortly after 8 p.m. in Cortland, Mississippi, about 50 miles, 80 kilometers, south of Memphis, Tennessee. She had third-degree burns on most of her body when she died at a Memphis hospital. Tellus, 29, was interrogated several times by law enforcement agents. Three of those intense interviews were videotaped and they were played to jurors Friday. Tellus was interviewed twice in 2014, on December 10 and December 18, and he told investigators he had only seen Chambers the morning she was burned. Tellus said Chambers picked him up with a friend in her car, and Tellus rode around town with them as Chambers and her friend smoked marijuana. Tellus said Chambers dropped him off at his house later that day and he didn't see her again. He said he was in nearby Batesville buying a prepaid debit card at the time she was burned and he had nothing to do with her killing. Douglas interrogated Tellus three more times. During those interviews, Douglas and two other investigators confronted Tellus with cell phone records placing him with Chambers during the evening of December 6 and video surveillance from a store across the street from his house showing vehicles entering and leaving his driveway. Tellus first changed his story on November 2, 2015. Tellus said that he actually drove to Batesville in a truck belonging to his friend Big Mike to meet Chambers in the parking lot shortly after 6 p.m. Tellus said he gave Chambers $10 and a bag of marijuana, and then jumped in her car as she went through a Taco Bell drive through Tellus said he left Chambers in her car and went back to Cortland to hang out with Big Mike and others. In a November 3 interview, Douglas again pressed Tellus. If you killed her, you were the last person who saw her alive, the investigator told Tellus. If you didn't kill her, you're the second to last one to see her alive. Tellus responded, I don't know who killed her. Douglas questioned Tellus one more time, on January 27, 2016. Investigators had interviewed Big Mike and discovered he was in Nashville, Tennessee, on the day Chambers was burned. So Tellus could not have used his truck, the investigator said. Tellus switched again, telling Douglas that Chambers had picked him up at his house about 5.30 p.m. and they drove to Batesville together to pick up the fast food. Cell phone records showed Tellus and Chambers were in the same spot until about 6.30 p.m. Location reports on both their phones went silent for about an hour after that, investigators said. In the interviews, Tellus doesn't say he had sex with Chambers, though he did say he asked her for it that day. He also never acknowledges burning her. Video surveillance presented in the interviews apparently shows a car stopping briefly at Tellus' shed at 7.50 p.m. Chambers was found burning a short while later.